Okay, so I'm back again with another small uh, review. Here I have the possibly, I think, the best camera backpack, traveler's backpack, day pack um, that you can get for money right now at the moment. I tried a few others. Um, I also tried the Manfrotto. Uh, forget what it's called. I'll put it in later with a picture. Um, I tried that one out and I couldn't get my camera in. It was unbelievable. I have a 5D Mark IV with a battery grip and it was impossible for me um, to get my camera into the Manfrotto bag. It was uh, the Off-Road 30, exactly. Manfrotto Off-Road 30 was the bag and um, I tried everything and I couldn't get nothing in. I could get in a 7200 and one extra lens but my camera wouldn't fit. In order to get my camera to fit, I would have had to taken out the the 70 to 200 2.8, and I would have had to taken out the other um, the other lens, and could have gotten the 5D Mark IV with a battery grip and one extra lens, 24 105 or something like that. I would have gotten in. Maybe I would have been able to fit a I don't know 16 to 35 if I wanted to, but I didn't try that. So. I just want to show you the backpack real quick. It's really cool. It's really awesome. It works perfect. It's not the prettiest backpack in the world. That's why I actually wanted the Manfrotto instead. But um, it's a good one. And so I really like it. It's the Mantona. Mantona. Elements Pro 50 is the name of it. It's really big. Really big. I mean, I'm six foot four. That's a long arm, so you can see it's a pretty big backpack. You can take a, take the front, lift it up, just roll that up and put it away. Doesn't matter. Now here's the cool part. Here you have the place in front is the rain cover. It's not tightened or fastened to the backpack, which I find pretty sad. I think it would have been cool if it would have been underneath the bottom here, but it, it's okay. It'll work. It doesn't really matter. Um, here you have some extra pockets. Here's the rain cover in the, pot, in the front pocket. And here is where all the magic can happen. I mean, seriously, if you look, I have everything in here. Here I have my 5D Mark IV with a battery grip. Attached to the 5D Mark IV is the 24 to 105 uh, Mark II fits in perfect. Then I have the Sigma 135 millimeter art, so it's really a really big chunky lens. Fits perfect. Here, the 7200 f2.8 Mark II fits perfect into here. I even have a little room up front here for I don't know whatever glass. Um, and D filters or whatever you might need. Um, and here, if you look here, I'll show you. I'll try to show you actually. Should, uh, I guess it's better from here. If you look, I still have plenty of room. So I can push that up a little and spread that out. And I can fit two more lenses in there without any kind of problem. I can fit my 16 to 35, uh, 16 to 35 millimeter in there. And here I could put in pff, probably a Mavic, a Mavic Pro might fit in there as a quadcopter if that's something you want so really 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 a lot of room in here that's ridiculous the padding is really good it's nice it's tight and you can put it anywhere you want it the front padding is really good because you also have the rain cover there to protect your camera close this up real quick in the front we also have a middle section and the really cool part is you can connect all the sections to one another. All the sections are connected with a zipper. So I can take out the whole bottom section, undo the zipper, undo the top zipper, and I have one giant big trekking backpack, which is also really cool. In here, you have plenty of room. So that you can see my hands upright. There's, it's unbelievable how much room is inside this backpack. The middle section you could put in probably enough clothes for at least a day and a night just in the middle section alone. Flip the front back over and take off these two, pop them off and then you can unroll the top part. I'll lay it back down so you can see it a little better. You can unroll 
the top part. So here you have the day pack some more. If you open this up, in there at the bottom, that's the middle section. So my arm can, if I put my hands flat, it can go all the way to my elbow. That's how much room is in this bag. So if you're really out tracking and you really need something big or to take a lot, this thing will fit anything you need for any trip actually. I think it's totally awesome. From the size, it will still fit inside an airplane compartment so you can really take it in an airplane as a carry-on luggage, which is really, really awesome. Um, that's, what, that's what was really important for me because I don't want to give up my camera equipment. If I go on a flight anywhere, I want the camera to stay where I am, where it belongs. So that's, like I said, it's really cool. You can, and if you don't use it, just roll it up, connect it to the, clicks, uh, to the connectors here, and it's gone. This, you can also just roll up and out of the way if you don't want to use it. It's just like another extra um, uh, weather cover. You could connect this to this. That's how I would probably do it. And take this end and connect this over here. So it's just out of the way and disappears and nothing can happen unless you unpop it again. There you go. Now, very important, shoulders. Very well padded. Feels like it's nice and breathable really nicely padded. You can adjust anything, any place, anywhere on here. Um, you have an aluminum framing, so the backpack won't bend out of shape. Aluminum framing goes all the way around. You can take off the bottom padding, put it down, and you can totally remove the side padding if you want to. So you don't necessarily need the hip belt. If you don't want to use it, just take it off, put it away, get it out of the way, it doesn't matter. You can also put the hip belt if you want to, if you're smaller than I am. You can put the hip belt through the back padding. Down here is another Velcro part right down in there. So you can put the hip belt inside in between here and adjust it to your height too. Like I said, I'm six foot four and a half, so I'm pretty big. So I need it as far down as possible. Now, the other nice part is you have this mesh down in here, this net mesh, which is really awesome because my hand will go through here. So even if I carry this bag on my back, the backpack never touches my back. This netting is so nice and flexible and tight that no matter how hard I press, it won't touch against the backpack. So you'll get air on your back, you won't be sweating like crazy. Um, and this belt really helps to reduce the weight on your hip. Around the other side, here you have a small mesh pocket, the middle section that we talked about. Over on this side, you have another little mesh pocket. And on each side of the hip belt, you have another small pocket for, I don't know, your cell phone, your wallet, whatever you may need. So, um, yeah, like I said, I put it up against the, the Manfrotto Off-Road 30 backpack and I personally like the Manfrotto optically better. It was the nicer backpack, but this is definitely the better backpack. You have a thousand times better middle uh, camera section, a thousand times better. Um, you have the great big top or middle section where you can put <laughs> everything you need into. It's, it's unbelievable. It really has a lot of room. And if that's not spacious enough, you still have the top section so you can get anything in there that you need. Down here at the bottom is where you put your tripod. You just put it straight in there, pull it tight, and that's what carries your tripod. It's in the middle of the backpack, so it's far enough away from your back. So even if you're carrying your tripod down here, it won't bounce against your back or anything. And when you tighten them up, it doesn't move. So the tripod is nice and still and sturdy. Works wonderful, works perfectly, and I'm totally happy. So yeah, um, here you can connect your tent if you want to go around carrying a tent or whatever. So if you're really looking for a good, sturdy backpack, this is it. Montana Elements Pro 50 
They also come in smaller versions, but I found the 50 to be perfect because you have all the options of the 30 plus the extra storage space. So the 50 is just the best way to go. I got it cheap on e on Amazon. Um, it was at a reduced price. It's I think it's still reduced till about now, the next couple of days. So I got this fairly cheap on Amazon. I paid 123 euros for it instead of 140 euros. So yeah, I hope you liked the review. If you liked the review, put a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, um, and we'll keep you posted. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.